Welcome to this video on as it says the chain rule. In this video, we're going to answer the question that's being asked here. We have a function f of three arguments, x, y, and z. And x, y, and z are themselves functions of variables u and v. So x is u squared v, y equals v, and z is v times cosine u. Now, g of u and v is f of x, y, z. And we are being asked to find the chain rule for the partial derivative of g with respect to u. So as you may recall from functions of one variable, if you differentiate, for instance, sine of x squared, then you differentiate first the sine, which gives a cosine of x squared, and then with the chain rule, you get an additional 2x. So here we have the equivalent for a function of several variables. And we are being asked to find what this chain rule is. So please try to solve this first yourself and then start the video again. So this would be a great moment to pause and then come back to the video later. So let's see, how can we solve this? So what we need to do is say that dg du, g is being defined in terms of f, and then if you differentiate, you first differentiate f with respect to x, y, and z, and then differentiate along. So what we get is the df dx and then times dx du plus df dy and then differentiate y with respect to u and finally the df dz dz du. Not quite done here yet, because we have, for instance, for dx du, we can differentiate u squared v with respect to u. So if we do that, then we get df dx, and differentiating u squared v with respect to u means that we consider v to be a constant, u squared gives a 2u, so we get 2uv plus df dy. And then to find this dy du, I need to differentiate v with respect to u. But v is a constant if we differentiate with respect to u, so this is going to give me a 0 times 0 plus finally df dz. And then I need to differentiate so z with respect to u. And this is the expression we have. v times cosine u. v is a constant. So we get times v times cosine u differentiation gives minus sine of u. Let's put some extra brackets there because I'm multiplying. So what we find in the end here is that this equals df dx times 2uv. The df dy drops out and we get minus df dz v sine u. And that is the answer to this question. Then if we look at the options we have, then we see that apparently answer B is the correct answer to this question. Hope all is clear. If not, let me know or try to do some more of these partial derivatives and chain rules yourself. And I'll see you in the next video.